coming. Skipper, what a nice surprise. Hello, little sis. You coming to visit or you need your clothes washed? No, I'm moving back in. What? That's fantastic. I can't wait. Hang on. If Skipper moves back in, I lose my bedroom. I can't wait either. It's... No way you're moving back in here. Chelsea? I'm coming. Auntie Skipper, are you coming for lunch? Hi, Annabelle. No, I'm moving back in. Isn't that great? Yay! That's so good. Wait until I tell... Wait a minute. If Auntie Skipper moves back home, Auntie Chelsea's back in our room. Help me with my bags and... Sorry, but that is not happening. Annabelle? Nearly there. Auntie Skipper, what are you doing here? I'm moving back home. You are? That's great news. Everyone will... Hey, that means Auntie Skipper will want her old room back and I won't be able to sweep in the twins' bed ever again. Tommy, what's wrong? Sorry, Auntie Skipper, but you're not moving back here. Would somebody let me in? That's wonderful news. So no more college? No, that's all done now. You sure you want to move back home? Yeah, can't you stay with your friend or something? Girls, don't worry. Chelsea won't be moving back into your room. She won't? Really? Woohoo! Chelsea and I can share a room. What? That's a great idea. Yes, but it'll be fun. Mm. All your bags are upstairs. Thanks, Ken. So you can get a job as a psychologist now. Well, not yet. First, I need to get some experience. Have you wrong? Yes, I tried everywhere, but no one has got any room for me. Maybe you should try in another state or country. Chelsea, hey. Why don't you practice on us? Really? Yes, why not? We can be your patients. You know what? That's a great idea. We'll all help Skipper, won't we everyone? Hmm. So there's nothing you want to discuss? No, I can't think of anything. Nothing that's bothering you? No. Life is pretty good. Ken's great. I've got three wonderful children. My sisters are all here. So... Wow, that was easy. But I do wish I had more help around the house. More help around the house. And why do you think the family aren't helping around the house? I have no idea. They just don't. Barbie, do you think they might not be helping because you do everything for them? Well, yes, I suppose I do. Why don't you try not doing every little thing for them? Because the house would be a mess. Well, maybe that's the only way they're going to learn. You know what? You're right. Thanks, Skipper. That was easy. Bobby, I left a bottle of orange juice in the fridge. Do you know where it is? Zach had it. What? Oh, I hope you didn't mind. I was so thirsty. Mmm. No, that's fine. Ken, your turn. Ken? Girls, Auntie Skipper needs to speak to you. Maybe waiter. Yeah, we're busy. Girls? Five minutes. Fine, five minutes. Maybe I'll check my emails. Zach? Oh, hey Ken. I hope you don't mind me using your computer. Well, actually... I'm thinking of getting a dog, but I don't know which one. They're all just so cute. Oh, that's, uh, great. <clears throat> Come on, Chelsea. Skipper needs your help. I can't right now. 
I have to finish this homework. Oh, well that's all right. <laughs> uh, about that. Downstairs now. Hmm. Well, I suppose I could watch some Ben 10 while I... Yes, what is it? Uh, and my name is Ellison. Zach? Is Jarvis. We're from the morning but... Chronicle. I Weren't you just in the study? Well, yes, busy. but I remembered there was this show I wanted to watch on TV. Oh, come on. How long are you staying here anyway? Just until Skipper finishes talking to the whole family. Ken? Fine. I'll be your patient. Great. Take a seat, please. Tommy? Oh, no. Tommy? Are you out here? Tommy, what are you doing? Tommy, I can see you there. Oh, I didn't hear you, Mummy. Time to speak to Auntie Skipper. I'd love to, but I'm very, very busy, so... Inside now. Oh, great. So, is there anything you want to talk about? No. Nothing. I can't think of anything. Nope. Uh-uh. No. There must be something you want to get off your chest. No problems at all? Not one. Um, no. Nothing. Sorry. Not me. Not that I can think of. All right. Well, if there's nothing that's bothering you... Well, there is one thing. Actually, I did think of something. Although... Well... Maybe there is something. Uh, there is something little. Well, now that you mention it, what is it? No one respects me. It's Max. Tamika's wrong. I feel bad about something. It's not fair. I told a little why. Can you expand on that a bit more? I'm supposed to be the boss of this house, but... Look, Annabelle... Can you get me a glass of water, please? No, get it yourself. Oh. See what I mean? Max asked me how I was yesterday, and I said I was fine. Right. But I wasn't fine. How could he not know that? Tamika doesn't think Selena Gomez is the best singer, but she's wrong. Who said Selena is the best singer? Uh, me? How could she think that? Well, I went to the candy store the other day and Mummy said I could choose one Wally Pop. But, yes, I chose two Wally Pops and now I feel really bad. That's alright. You can... No, I should have picked like five or ten Wally Pops. How could it be so silly? Okay. It's not fair that Annabelle doesn't look as pretty as I do. But Isabel... You... It's like someone said, Isabel, you're going to be the most prettiest girl in the world. And Annabelle, you're going to look like Miss Piggy. It's just not fair. Uh... When we were eating dinner, I did a little pop-off and it did not smell good at all. Well, that's not that bad. Yes, because I told everyone Daddy did it. Would you like a tissue? Yes, please. Two, please. No. Well, all right. You're so kind. Um, yes, yes, I think I need one. I think you need to speak with a firmer voice, Ken. Try again. <laughs> okay. Annabelle, I would like a glass of water, please. You've got two feet. Use them. Uh, we'll work on that. Max can't possibly know what you're thinking. You need to communicate better. You're right. Next time he doesn't realise that I'm not fine, we're breaking up. That's not what I meant. Chelsea, you have to realise that not everyone is going to like what you like. People have different opinions. Hmm. See what I mean? Nah, I know I'm right. <sighs> so.
So what are you going to do next time you're choosing a lollipop? Just get one. Good. Then you'll... And then I'll distract Mummy and get ten. No, fifteen lollipops. Yes, thanks, Auntie Skipper. You're, uh, welcome, Annabelle. Now you do realise that you're identical twins, which means we look the same? Exactly. And then why isn't she pretty like me? But she... Oh, I get it. We'll tell Annabelle that she's pretty too, just in case she gets upset. No, you... Good thinking, Auntie Skipper. You really are good at this psychology thing. Glad I could help. And what are you going to do next time you pop off at the dinner table? Make sure I don't have eggs for breakfast. No. And those baked beans for lunch. That's what gave it away. But what about... Oh, and make sure I sit next to Daddy at the dinner table, just in case I need to blame him again. Good work, Auntie Skipper. Hmm. Well, thanks everyone for your help today. It was... interesting. So you can be a psychologist now? No, I think I might have to practice on people with real problems. Hey, my problem was real. Barbie, my chocolate bar has disappeared. Oh, I had that, Ken. I was starving. Right, that's it. Out. But now. Fine. I'll see you tomorrow, Skipper. Tomorrow.